Since the passing of Steve Jobs in 2011, Musk has emerged as the leading virtuoso of technological innovation. His brilliance, his vision, and the breadth of his ambition make him the one-man embodiment of the future, fond Fortune magazine in 2014. Tesla, Musk's electric vehicles company, delivered a record 343,830 vehicles during the third quarter of 2022, which is one brand new car every 30 seconds. And that speed is just unbelievable. But not only that, Musk's work in space could revolutionize how we get online. His own space firm, SpaceX, launched more satellites than anyone with a total of over 3,500 satellites into orbit providing fast, affordable internet for those without access. SpaceX is even planning to build a freeway to Mars, the most Earth-like planet in the solar system, by a fleet of starships. The ambitious goal pushes SpaceX teams to accelerate the production of not only its Mars-bound rockets, but also its new-gen rocket engine, Raptor. The company announced this month that it also recently finished building Starship's 200th upgraded Raptor engine highlighting a new record in SpaceX's string of engine production speed feats. The development process of SpaceX's Raptor engine itself is inherently regarded as an engineering miracle within the industry. Its speed and frequent iterations are beyond the reach of competitors. Before SpaceX shipped its first Raptor 2 prototype, SpaceX manufactured 100 Raptor 1 engines between the start of full-scale testing in February of 2018 and July 2021. By late 2021 or early 2022, when Raptor 2 took over, the total number of Raptor 1 engines produced likely reached somewhere between 125 to 150, which is impressive but pales in comparison to SpaceX's Raptor 2 ambitions. From the start, Raptor 2's purpose was to make future Raptors easier, faster, and cheaper to manufacture. The ultimate goal is to eventually reduce the cost of Raptor 2 production to $1,000 per ton of thrust, or $230,000 at Raptor 2's current target of 230 tons of thrust. As of mid-2019, Musk reported that each early Raptor 1 prototype cost more than $2 million for what would turn out to be 185 tons of thrust. It's not clear if that ever appreciably changed. But in response, SpaceX strove to make Raptor 2 simpler wherever possible, removing a large part of the maze of primary, secondary, and tertiary plumbing. In 2022, CEO Elon Musk confirmed that SpaceX had even removed a complex torch igniter system for Raptor 2's main combustion chamber. All that simplification made Raptor 2 much easier to build in theory, and SpaceX's production figures have more than confirmed that theory. Despite those simplifications, SpaceX was also able to boost Raptor 2's thrust by 25% by sacrificing just 1% of Raptor 1's efficiency. Beginning with its first delivery in February of 2018, SpaceX produced the first 100 Raptor 1 engines in about 36 months. In the first 11 to 12 months of Raptor 2 production, SpaceX has delivered 200 engines. That translates to at least six times the average throughput. But the true figure is even higher. In June of 2019, Musk stated that SpaceX was aiming to build a Raptor engine every 12 hours by the end of the year. As is usually the case, that progress took far longer to realize. But in October of 2022, a senior NASA Artemis program official revealed that SpaceX recently achieved sustained production of one Raptor 2 engine per day for a full week. Such a high rate likely makes Raptor one of the fastest produced orbital class rocket engines in history. However, things didn't just stop there. Elon Musk and SpaceX will continue to improve this already invincible production speed in 2023. Why not quit while they're ahead? Well, it's simply because SpaceX's next-generation Starship rocket needs a huge amount of engines. The Starship upper stage currently requires three sea-level optimized Raptors and three vacuum-optimized Raptors, and SpaceX has plans to increase that to nine engines total. Meanwhile, Starship's Super Heavy Booster is powered by 33 sea-level Raptors. Orbital-class versions of Starship and Super Heavy have never flown before, let alone demonstrated successful recovery or reuse, so SpaceX has to operate under the assumption that every orbital test flight will consume 39 Raptors. 
Even after the reuse of super heavy boosters or starships becomes viable, taking significant strain off of Raptor demand, SpaceX wants to manufacture a fleet of hundreds or even thousands of starships and a similarly massive number of boosters. To outfit that massive fleet, SpaceX would have to mass produce orbital class Raptor engines at a scale that's never been attempted. That will likely be years if not a decade longer before SpaceX is in a position to even attempt to create that Giga fleet. If the Raptor 2 engines SpaceX is already building are modestly reliable and reusable and doesn't take more than 5 to 10 orbital test flights to begin reusing Starships and Super Heavy boosters, a production rate of one engine per day is arguably good enough to support the next few years of realistic engine demand. But it's clear that Musk's ambitions won't simply let them tread the waters. SpaceX planned to build the most advanced rocket engine factory in the world in Central Texas to support the growing needs of Starship and Super Heavy back in July of 2021. As Musk said, a new cutting-edge SpaceX factory located at the company's expansive McGregor, Texas rocket development and testing facilities factory will ultimately mass-produce between 800 to 1,000 Raptor 2 engines per year. By volume production, I mean 2 to 4 engines per day. Which I've got to say is pretty impressive, don't you think? According to Musk, that's about what's needed over 10 years to create a fleet to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. The city itself probably takes roughly 20 years, so hopefully it will be built by around 2050. However, SpaceX's CEO also noted that it's super high volume for big rocket engines, but low volume by automotive standards. For example, Elon Musk's electric car company Tesla had the capacity to make around 2,000 cars a day in May. But by the end of 2022, only Tesla Giga Shanghai is expected to be at an annualized production rate of 5,000 cars per day, which is too crazy. Regardless, if all goes according to plan, that facility could also become the highest output rocket factory ever built, churning out hundreds of Raptor engines each year to outfit a vast interplanetary fleet of starships and the Earth-bound super heavy boosters that will send them on their way to Earth orbit, the moon, Mars, and beyond. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.